Hey, what is up, everybody? So another episode here of Michael's Gaming Finds. And, well, I picked this one up, and I paid a total of $40 for all of this. Let me just go ahead and show you some of the controllers. These are 100% the official PlayStation uh, controller. So this is actually one for the PlayStation 3. Here is a DualShock 2. Obviously, it's got a lot of kind of dust in there. I literally have not looked in here yet. So another Sony PS2 controller. One more. There's some just standard AV cables. And then there was a, another controller down in here. Yeah, so I've got one controller right there. Another one. Another one. PlayStation. Another PlayStation 2 controller. And then finally, this PS3 controller. Yeah, so what I will do with these is that these will be paired with, obviously, some PlayStation 2s. And really, they should help me get probably about $20 per piece out of the PS2 that I sell. So I may bundle two of these with one of the PlayStation 2s, for example, and at least list it for about 100 bucks. So that is all the controllers. Now for the consoles. One of the things that was said was, was that this Xbox does not turn on. Now, obviously this is one of the older Xboxes, so it really doesn't matter. I probably won't do anything with this one except for just list it directly on my offer up page or something like that for probably about 20 bucks just so at least I can start by getting half out of it. Now you could open this up and pull the hard disk out of it and use that in another system if you wanted to, or you could actually try to troubleshoot it. I'm definitely not interested in trying to repair these Xbox consoles. Now I am very interested in repairing PlayStation 2s. So as you can see, this did come with two PlayStation 2s. And as I open this up, you'll see that I have already labeled them. I know it's a crappy label, but as this one says, the disc does not auto start, the DVD works, and more than likely, the laser seems worse than some of the other PS2s that I have worked on in the past. But this is a completely good PlayStation 2. It does work, and yeah, if I could clean this up a little bit, again, I could pair this with just two of the controllers by themselves, and I can make about a hundred bucks. Now, this one was in better shape, but the problem, at least originally, was, was that the video would not come on. Well, there's an easy fix to that. You can actually run this button combination to kind of reset it. So by default, it was set to, I think, RGB. And so I had to reset that back in order to get my component cables actually working with this one. So this one, I did put a quick tag on it of the disc does not auto start, DVD works. And whenever you see that, you know, where the disc doesn't auto start, it means the laser is just about close to dying. But yeah, this one will easily be another 100 bucks paired with two controllers and maybe some games that I have left over. Now, the Xbox did come with the power adapter. So again, I'll put that with the Xbox when I list it for 20 bucks. And then finally, there was this PS1. I have not started any sort of troubleshooting process with it, but what I do know is, is that the green light does appear. There just isn't any sort of output which probably means that that is a good thing. So anyway, these were just some of my recent pickups that I grabbed and thought I would share it again right here on the channel. All right, bye-bye.